so we are back i guess we are back uh, the connection is a bit unstable i don't know <laughs> here in germany as well so uh, i was talking about yes so i was talking about shortlisting of courses come up with 10 courses of your interest don't focus on university ranking okay uh, just focus on the course the course structure and imagine your career in that uh, like in that course and what all possibilities you will get uh, after getting enrolled into the uh, into the course then according to the requirements please start uh, like applying for the universities and start preparing for the documentation okay so mostly you will require ielts okay many many companies or many universities will uh, will need your ielts scorecard uh they will also require some universities will require gre or gmat so you have to give exams uh as per the university requirements and there will be like 6.5 score in ielts is good enough and in gre uh up to like 310 or 320 is also a good score i will suggest that shortlisting of universities is very very important okay this is because uh like you you get to know what uh, like what exams are you aiming for and what exams do you need to give okay some universities will require like german a1 proficiency some universities will require ielts so it really depends it really depends upon the uh, university to university germany being a decentralized country it is very difficult uh, to you know uh, to understand that Uh, really it require like each and every university has its own requirements so it is very important to shortlist the courses after that you start preparing for the documentation so mostly you will require a cv uh, then you will require your statement of purpose your letter of recommendation so i will suggest that statement of purpose uh, it is it should be like one a uh, one page or 1.25 pages maximum uh lor can be also of the same length uh, regarding the structure of sop and structure of lor we have uh, we can have a separate uh, live on that but this these are just uh, document uh, documents i'm talking about which are required uh, next thing next thing is um uh, your sop lor your transcripts of records okay your transcripts which you will get from uh, say your university or your college so mostly uh, these are like sealed transcripts i will i will suggest you to apply for like at least five copies because most of the universities they uh, require original sealed transcripts and most of the universities they require like uh, a photocopy or a pdf transcripts in pdf format so you should keep all the options in mind uh these these are the general documents uh, and it will again depend upon the university they can have their own sets of documents so it is very important to you know understand the uh, courses uh, the course requirements and uh, everything after that you apply to the universities okay so how is the uh, how is the university application it is either on their website okay it is either on their website or you have to apply through uni assist so what is uni assist it is a platform or a website through which you can apply to multiple universities they have like they have collaboration with multiple universities guys uh, those who have joined can you share the link uh, to your friends as well so that they can join and they can benefit uh with with this live so uh, talking about uh, uni assist yes it is it is a platform through which you can apply uh, for the universities so many of the universities they have tie ups with uh, uni assist or else the second option is you can directly apply on the university website just keep in mind it is very important to note the deadlines okay the deadlines uh, of the universities you are applying for uh considering my experience uh like uh it, it is a good time to apply like keeping the time frame as one year okay 
uh, for some for some people one year seem like uh, too much of a time but trust me guys shortlisting at least 10 courses according to the course requirements then coming up with uh, like all the documents writing your sop your first copy of your sop is not the last copy of your sop you have to have multiple changes you you have to go to the uh, university and take lor so all these things they like they require time so if you don't want to haste on anything i will suggest i will recommend that you start at least like 8 8 months to 1 year before the uh, uh, before the uh, application deadline okay so you have to prepare well in advance you are coming to germany so you require like it is always a benefit to have german language skills so i will suggest that uh, if you want to uh, if you want to uh, enroll for like german language classes we also we also provide you german language classes uh, just give me a second i will uh, drop a link here and you can visit uh, my website and check out if you are, are interested for german language courses so i will pin this as well so german language classes yes these are also important because you are coming into a new culture okay you are coming into a new culture and uh, mixing into the culture you, have, you it is it is always a benefit to understand the language uh, next thing uh, next thing is very uh, very important uh, is apply, applying to the universities okay when you apply to the universities then uh at least one to one and a half months they require for your profile evaluation okay so it is not like uh, you just apply and get the response as soon as possible it will take time then when you once you get the admit okay once you get the admit it is very important to understand that uh, you you will require like some time for visa okay your visa there is there is a huge like checklist of documents required for it you require to arrange your funds you have to take education loan or maybe your parents might sponsor you so i will suggest that you these all things they require time and you start applying for like 8 months start preparing 8 months before the application starts uh now talking about the masters there are uh, like various courses uh, in germany but typically okay typically speaking germany being uh, like engineering hub most of the courses here are like booming courses are like cs it courses then uh, germany also germany is also expanding in various domains for example the management domain okay uh, i have for if you consider my case uh, i have studied uh, like technical management from rwth akhan university uh, and i'm working in dresden as a, a junior project manager so germany has been uh, into uh, management domain as well uh, like so these are these are the booming uh, sectors here in germany also if you talk about data science data science is also one of the uh one of the important uh, domains and uh, in, like growing domain here in germany so if you go to like cologne side uh, cologne is like a major city in north right westphalia so it is it is the uh, it is the pharmaceutical hub uh, berlin is the startup hub so you have like various other opportunities once you are in uh, germany now we will talk about once you get the admit okay okay uh, so yes 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 i will i will answer all your questions uh, at the end of this uh, session i will request you to share this link so that maximum people can join in and i can get maximum questions uh, so i was like after after applications i was on applications you get the admit and you have to prepare for your visa okay the visa which you get is schengen student visa so schengen student visa is like uh, the visa which is valid for uh, around 145 countries here in europe you can travel and explore various options uh, there is a checklist uh, i will i will also i will also share you can uh, you can go to my website and check check for it 
so uh, i will share share the uh, visa requirements and documents required to you uh, if you visit my website um then you have to arrange for uh, your accommodation here your tra travel tickets and stuff like that so this is the entire journey it is the entire journey right from selecting of universities to the uh, to coming to germany okay once you get the admit i will recommend you i will recommend you to you know book book uh, student dorms okay student dorms accommodation because these are like uh, very affordable okay very affordable and uh, like there are huge waiting lists already but right away you can uh, book for student dorms on the uh, university website so uh, this is this is one of the important things i wanted to share with you apart from this once you get an admit you start applying for internships or working student jobs okay the reason being that uh, in germany it is not like if you apply for the uh, jobs and you get it you have to you have to keep on applying you have to be consistent and uh, it is not only uh, like apply for a few companies and you will directly get an offer no you have it will it will take a bit of time and once you start it from india the mistakes you will do you will not waste time coming here okay so this is very important this is very important try to understand that as soon as you get an admit you start applying for internships working student jobs i will recommend not to do part time jobs okay in in a hotel or in a uh, in a company like i was working in a chocolate factory so i will suggest that you please don't do uh, that sort of jobs be, uh, rather, like rather focus on uh, internships and working students this will like uh, help you uh, boost your cv uh the, this this is one of the most important thing so for this is for uh, masters for bachelors there are multiple options first thing you can do a diploma okay 3 years diploma and directly apply for a uh, bachelors here in germany uh, another option after your 12th standard is that you can simply you can simply enroll for a student collegian course So, what is student collegian course? It is a course which teaches you German language. Okay, German is very important if you are enrolling for bachelor's. Okay, why? Because most of the courses here in bachelor's degree in Germany are in German language. So, it will depend upon the university, but generally speaking, you will require at least like B two or C one level proficiency for applying uh, for doing bachelor's here in Germany. so this is this is regarding uh, the bachelor's thing uh, i believe most of you are uh, here are for masters so uh, we also have we also have groups whatsapp groups and you can you can join uh, our whatsapp group as well uh, you can check out the link in the description and you can uh, join our whatsapp groups wherein uh, we have a community of like minded students who are interested to come to germany okay talk us through part time okay yes so regarding part time jobs there are various part time jobs available here uh, in germany uh, so first of all the i will i will let you know the part like the types of part time jobs available you can either work in in a hotel or a restaurant okay uh, as uh, as a receptionist or a worker or maybe cleaning dishes and so on so uh, the pay for part time job here is around like uh, 10 euros it highly depends upon the 10 euros per hour it highly depends upon the location uh, the your position there and the hotel okay how big is the hotel so this is one of the option second is you can deliver deliver gro groceries through flink so flink is a platform through which you can enroll and uh, you get a bicycle and then you can drive the groceries to uh, the respective customers uh, i would recommend you guys to share this uh, link this uh, youtube live link to more students so that they can uh, they can benefit from this as well thanks for it
uh another type of part time job is that which i was doing i was working in a lint chocolate factory as a shop floor worker and i was paid around 10.5 euros per hour so guys if you make a simple calculation uh if you work like twice uh, twice a week and like uh you can earn around like 700 800 euros per month and your expense here including everything is around like 700 euros so you can uh you can uh, not only uh, like bear like cover up the expenses but you can also save money i'm talking about like working two times okay only two times in one uh, like in in a week i will suggest that uh, you can also work on weekends wherein you are paid for like paid much higher than like 1 or 2 euros more per hour so it is it is also benefit for you rather again i will say rather focusing on part time jobs you can directly apply for internships and working students wherein you can get more and uh, like more experience and it will boost your cv so uh, like 12 people 12 people uh, are currently currently uh, viewing this it is thank you for you guys like i am i am growing i am uh, new to this and surely thanks for coming here uh okay general requirements okay so talking about general requirements uh, general requirements about uh, studying in germany uh it it re- really depends but it really depends upon the university you are applying for but generally speaking you will require uh, your transcripts your mark sheets ielts for most of the universities gre gmat and um, maybe german language if it is required but ielts is like for 90% of the uh, 90% of the uh, times it is required for all the universities okay diploma student uh, get admission for bachelors yes so there is one option uh, after diploma you can apply for directly for bachelors but as i said anu as i said uh, it is very important to understand that uh, most of the courses here in germany are uh, like in german language so you have to have like at least b2 or c1 level of uh, german proficiency so for new students uh, please share this link uh, to your students who are interested uh, in coming to germany so that they can also benefit benefit from this okay i have passed c1 level of german but i don't have any work experience and i am doing digital marketing course so i get internship in germany from india uh yes so aman uh, to answer this question c1 level of german proficiency is really a good level okay you have good chances of uh, coming here uh, to germany for an internship uh, you have to keep in mind two to three things okay first of all the companies you are applying for should sponsor uh, your visa okay or maybe you can come here with a job seekers visa as well so there is a job seekers visa which you get directly from india to come here and work in germany and you can search for jobs but uh doing an internship i will say that uh c1 level of proficiency you can directly apply for full time jobs this this will be uh this will be a great uh, benefit for you rather than doing internships is what i feel personally okay i will take some of the uh, some of the questions here part time jobs what is the what is the scope of cs okay so talking about the scope of computer science so computer science is a field which is not only uh, like not only uh, booming in germany but across entire world okay so computer science is really a, a good field and many courses here are uh, you you can you can uh, apply for many courses here which are public universities and don't charge you tuition fees thanks thanks aman thanks for asking your questions i will request you to share this link i will request you to share this link with uh, your students uh, with with your friends and students who are interested in germany uh, does mem course need work experience okay so vishnu to answer this question um, mem so engineering management courses yes Uh, most of the courses will uh, require uh, like 
work experience but you can you can go to university website as you are shortlisting the courses in the course requirements it is strictly mentioned that if you are required like if a work experience is required or not but generally speaking uh, most of the universities will ask for uh, work experience you can show either like internships internships is also considered as work experience or uh, maybe some projects some voluntary internships can also do some freelancing it is also uh, considered as a work experience so don't worry about that uh, but most of the courses will also uh, not require a work experience having a work experience is always a benefit okay vaishnav yes okay welcome so uh, guys please share this link share this link to your friends so that they can also join and ask questions i will take some questions from uh, from the people who had already asked me these questions okay cost of living okay so talking about cost of living so cost of living is um, maybe around uh, 700 euros uh, it it highly depends upon your lifestyle first of all uh, okay how how is your lifestyle it highly depends upon the location so for example if you consider arkhan so arkh in arkhan the cost of living is comparatively lesser comparatively lesser to maybe in in frankfurt or in munich so it highly depends but generally speaking for a single student uh, you can you can sustain in like 700 euros if you if i buy forget the cost like rent is around 300 to 350 euros your groceries will be around 150 euros so it will be around 500 euros and your health insurance will be around 100 euros so 600 euros and 100 euros for your extra cost so it is around like 700 euros so i request you guys to share this link should to share this link to maximum students so that they can they can join they can join okay so um mm, other questions so are there any further questions i can answer okay i will take i will take some questions from here how is germany okay so this is this is a very broad question so this is a very broad question uh, but to answer this germany is uh, is a beautiful place it is it is absolutely clean systematic and uh, you it is it is very systematic people here are friendly and also like there are signals there is cleanliness people around are uh, very clean so yes sir uh, uh, your university shortlisting course helps for multiple courses or for one course so uh, okay so on my website the university shortlisting course i can uh, give you like uh, six to seven courses of your uh, interest okay so uh, of your domain so i will suggest that uh, it is catered to uh, your requirements as per uh, your domain and not only for one particular domain uh people are asking questions just a second uh, i will again circulate the link so that people can join in any other question any other question just a second i will also circulate this link so that people can again join there are many groups just bear with me so yes people are coming in so guys as you have joined as as you have joined you can ask me questions ask me questions and i can uh, try to answer them as per my experience so yes you can ask me questions as well yes people are joining in that's great okay so i did not score well in 12th standard but i am studying in nit atm is 
is there any possibility that i can study my bachelor in germany yes yes there is there is absolutely a possibility but for bachelors as i said uh, you have to enroll for a student collegium course wherein you are taught german language okay so it highly depends upon uh, your german language proficiency as most of the courses here are uh, taught in german language so yes so yes i will i will be circulating the link just give me just give me a second there are many groups so people are coming in till then you guys can ask me questions and i will answer all your questions uh just a second yes people are joining in guys you can you can ask me questions uh, here as well i will i will answer all the questions so don't worry about it mm, this is the last message i am circulating perfect okay i will take some questions till then from from you guys you are already asked me uh, so uh, hari krishna is asking i need a list of universities for masters yes we provide you with the list uh, for masters as well you can check it on our website and uh, we cater to uh, your exclusive needs and as per your profile so yes uh, is german language mandatory so talking about german language requirements german language is always a benefit okay you uh, it is it is always a benefit to uh learn new language and as you are coming to germany you have to mix into this culture german language is always a benefit for jobs most of the uh, companies will require german language as your colleagues will be speaking in german so it is always a benefit if you want if you want to enroll for german language courses uh you can you can check this link i have just pinned uh, the link and you can uh, enroll for our german language courses as well how is management course and what about scholarships so uh, i have done i have done a technical management course okay so uh, to be honest with you guys uh, regarding my course it was it was just awesome but until covid hit so for the first few semesters like first one and a half semesters uh, we were made to work in groups it was very interactive but once covid hit Uh, everything was shifted to online and uh, to be honest with you uh, it's a, it's a not not a good thing to do management courses online so yes okay And then what about scholarships yes so for scholarships it is you can check out uh, this link it is dart.de and you can check for respective scholarships it will be catered to your profile it will be catered to your profile as well okay so next question what should i take mm -hmm. okay so can we do dual studies for a uh, bachelor's like the dual studies where companies help us in exchange to work for them yes absolutely uh, this is absolutely possible ojas uh, but to be uh, to be honest with you uh, here uh, just you you need to first focus on the uh, on the workload doing doing a dual study like what do you mean like a sandwich course so sandwich courses are possible because most of the courses here have like mandatory internships so yes it is possible so that you can sponsor yourself here in germany okay so regarding now i will focus on the next point oh 
people are asking me questions i had tons of questions actually let me bring out the list accommodation okay so yes yes it is it is actually a challenging thing to get accommodation in germany uh, it is not only uh, like area specific but it is really uh, you know getting an accommodation is really sometimes it becomes very tedious but i will i will suggest you guys to book for university dorms as soon as you get an admit the you can book for university dorms uh, as and when you get an admit on the university website Uh, or there will be some types with like student in work and some something like that uh, types of accommodations it really depends upon your lifestyle but there is like single room uh, in one apartment or a single apartment or a si multiple single rooms wherein the kitchen and toilet uh, is shared so uh, yes typically it is around like 300 to 350 euros uh okay so for dual studies okay so for dual studies you have to you have to go through uh, like search for courses who uh, like we offer you dual studies uh, and in the course requirements it is uh, it will be mentioned there so on dart.de if you check if you check uh, for the courses okay uh, in the courses it will be mentioned that uh, whether they provide you internships or uh, maybe uh, dual studies is like dual degree Wherein you can focus on management as well as technical. So both the uh, in both the domains. So you can check uh, check those out on the website which I have mentioned dart dot de. Okay. So any other questions? I will I will take some more questions. Okay. So blocked account and health insurance. So yes, blocked account. I will I will share some light on blocked account. so uh, it is the amount which is kept uh, which is blocked on your behalf and you can get those on monthly basis to uh, sponsor yourself here in germany right now the blocked uh, uh, blocked account is around 934 euros per month which is around roughly around 11 or 12000 euros per year uh, for blocked account and health insurances you can also visit uh, our website i have pinned that website uh and we help you in uh, in it as well so there are various options like kotak mahindra bank coracal uh, fintiba and stuff like that so yes blocked account is if you if you come here and do internship you can save that blocked account and directly return it to uh india so you can sponsor yourself here uh doing either a part time job or working student or internships uh okay so any other question so people are joining in uh, guys you can share this link you can share this link with uh, your uh, your students or your friends who are interested to coming in germany mm, i will take some more questions let me check oh my whatsapp is completely messed because i have i have been receiving messages okay so till then if you guys have any questions you can ask me absolutely okay so how are german people as as a whole okay so these people uh, talking about german people uh, yeah they are friendly they are good but uh, to be honest with you like they don't mix that much as we indians do but uh, yeah they are friendly they are helpful if you are in need they will surely help you what does a fresher salary for it in germany look like and what are the Uh, corresponding tax rates okay so suraj is asking about it jobs uh so for fresher so yes there are uh, there are it jobs here like for example uh, entry level jobs for 
uh, like software developer or maybe um, like a coder coder coding type jobs are also available uh, for jobs if you go on linkedin and search for uh, like a particular position and location you will get uh, a list of jobs here in in germany talking about salaries it depends upon the uh, location and depends upon your degree if you are doing your bachelor's degree your salary varies from like 40000 euros to maybe 45000 or maybe 50000 euros if you are a masters student then you will uh, your salary will be varying from like 45000 euros to 60000 euros or maybe 80000 euros as well uh, work experience is always a benefit yes work experience is always a benefit so okay talking about tax rates uh, it is similar to india uh, like it depends upon like uh, there are slabs but 40 40 42 42% tax you can consider on your salary so gross salary can we directly can we do directly jobs in germany after our bachelors in india uh, oh just is asking so yes, you can definitely try, but uh, I will be honest with you. It will be a bit uh, tough for you because a bachelor's here in Germany is uh, much more considered while you're applying for jobs uh, if uh, rather than uh, doing bachelor's in India because bachelor's here in Germany is of English language. So yes. Uh, you can definitely give it a try, but a wiser option will be coming here for masters and applying for jobs. Okay, I will take some guys till then. Please share this link. Please share this link with uh, your friends so that they can also join. They can also join in and ask questions. I'm planning to, uh, you know, have frequent sessions. If you guys want to talk with me personally and have uh, some other questions which you are not able to ask here you can book a call with me one-on-one -on -one call with me so that i can answer all your questions and you can check out on my website we also uh, provide like german language classes loans blocked account health insurance and etc isn't 40 to 45 percent tax a lot is it similar to canada uh bro to be honest uh, uh, i'm not aware of canada but 40% tax is like, for example, first 450 euros are tax free. As I said, it, it, it is like on the slabs. So for first 450 euros is tax free. Then like uh, for some slab, it is like 10%, 20%. And then about 40,000, it is like 40% uh, tax. So you're not taxed entirely. Okay. You're not taxed entirely 40% uh, on your cross, but it, it is again on uh, different slabs. Okay, uh, I'm I'm sorry for that, but I'm una unaware of uh, situation in Canada. Okay, so I will take some more questions. Mm -hmm. Is IELTS mandatory? As I as I said, uh, IELTS first focus on the course you are applying for, then come up with the like at least ten courses of your interest. And as per the course requirements, start preparing for it. Okay, so go, go step by step. According to your course requirements, you will come to know which, uh, like which exams or which uh, documents you have to collect and stuff like that. So I will suggest that first focus on the course and course requirements rather than preparing for exams. Because I have friends, like they, what they do is that they simply. Uh, give GRE, GMAT and stuff like that, waste money, time and efforts. And after that, they come to know that, oh, it is not required for my university. So I will suggest that focus on the course requirements first. Oh, okay, bro. I'm sharing this link. So hope more people join. Suresh, this means a lot. Thank you for this. Thank you for this. Also, you guys can check out our WhatsApp group and be a part of it, wherein uh, we have like many, many students and uh, like-minded students who are interested to come to Germany. Okay. 
Are there any further questions? Guys, also, if you are new here, you can subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can check out various videos. I make videos about uh, life in Germany, travel vlogs, uh, studies in Germany, and stuff like that. So, Zui Fohara, Fohara, Khatum. Hi, hi, hi. Sorry, sorry if I uh, pronounced your name uh, in the wrong way. Hi, hi. So, thanks for joining. If you have any questions, you can ask. You can ask me. And I will try to answer them. If you have uh, more questions and if I have not answered your questions, you can book one on one call me on the website. I have pinned in, in the chat and you can take a look at my website as well. Uh, you can check in the description as well. Uh, as this is a growing channel, not many people are joining in. So I can answer uh, more of your questions. Also, actually, I wanted to know if German language is mandatory. I understand it might be necessary for social life, but what about student life? So for student life, I will say German language is not mandatory. Okay, it is not mandatory, but it is highly beneficial for getting jobs and internships. I'm mixing up with people. Uh, Suraj, if you want to, uh, like, if you want to enroll for German language classes, uh, you can visit, you can visit our website and maybe you can get information there. This is the website. Okay. Can I get into Germany University with lowest percentage in BA? Can I can I tell me, can you tell me how much minimum I need to get into? So to answer this question, uh, it is not, uh, it is not like India. Okay. It is, it is a bit different here. Uh, each and every university has its own requirements. So it is very university specific. Germany being like decentralized country. It is, uh, it is not like a set criteria, but it really depends upon the university. Generally speaking, like 6.5 in IELT is, is a good score with uh, work experience and projects. Uh, it again depends how well you write your SOP, how well you write your LOR. We help you in this as well. So if you if you are interested, you can check the link in the description and maybe book a call with me so that I can guide you on it in a better way. So yeah, if you have like a low percentage, I will say don't get disheartened at all. Uh, don't get disheartened. Uh, German university is not only like they not only focus on your grades, but also your extracurricular activities and projects and documents which you submit. So you have you have chances. Okay, perfect. Let me. Guys, trust me, like in Germany, the internet connection is really an issue. Most of the times it is lagging. Okay, so there are like nine to 10 people here still. If you have questions, you can ask me. I'm okay, I'm planning to prepare more frequent lives so that you guys can attend it and ask me questions. Okay. Yes, yes, I will, I will do more lives. So just, I will request you guys to share this link, share this channel, subscribe this channel and share this to all, all your friends who are interested in Germany or all your friends who are interested to know how it is living in Germany. Okay, so are there any further questions? Towards, I am actually switching towards Canada and Germany for further studies. Can you let know some benefits for Germany? I have 
greater than one year of IT experience and looking for to pursue masters. Okay, so Suraj, uh, to be to be honest, in Germany, uh, if you compare with Canada, the uh, cost of education is really very very uh, less. Uh, if you get into public universities, the education, okay, the education is free. You you have to not pay any tuition fees. So there is a semester contribution around three hundred euros. But this you can easily cover in part-time jobs. So cost of uh, studying here and ROI is better than that of Canada. Uh, also, if you like traveling, like uh, for example, I like traveling. If you like traveling, enjoy traveling. You can explore various other countries, various other cities when you are here in Germany. Uh, you get access to around 140 uh, countries uh, with the visa, with the Schengen visa, which you get. so this is also one of the benefit uh, you get your pr after 21 months uh, of you paying taxes so it is also a smooth process so these are some of the benefits uh, and it industry yes uh, i am sure that it is it will be booming in canada as well but here uh, absolutely it is booming uh talking about my job experience i am currently working in dresden uh, in 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 the company as a project uh, manager as a junior project manager so uh, like you have the uh, like great work life balance then you, your tasks are uh, like focused and uh, your timings are fixed and you like saturday sunday off so you have that benefits as well you also have unemployment benefits if you are if you if you are unemployed for uh, various periods in between then government takes care of you so these are some of the benefits the health insurance the health facilities here are super because uh, like company uh, pays your health insurance uh, some part of your health insurance and you are completely insured as well so yes these are the benefits of living in germany aman what's your room rent okay so currently uh, as i am single uh, i am That, like I'm living uh, in in a single room, uh, and I'm a single person here. So the room rent is around two uh, sixty euros, single room with a shared kitchen and toilet. In which city you live? Okay, so I live in Dresden. It is in Lower Saxony. Okay, guys, please share this. Please share this link to uh, your friends who are interested to come to Germany who want. to understand how it is living in germany as well so ananya is asking for masters uh, we have to do aps then uh, junior assist or both uh, can be done simultaneously i will suggest that both uh, you should do both simultaneously because it will take time okay junior assist also takes time uh, in verifying documents and you have to like you have to submit similar sets of documents in both cases so aps as well so yes Oh yes, share your journey to Germany. Like in which college uh, you did your bachelor's, and what was your seat? Ah, okay. The last part I am a bit, you know, afraid of saying, but I had a decent CGPA, uh, not that great. Uh, certainly above average, but not amongst the toppers. Uh, but oh, just this is a good question. Maybe just a, just give me a second. i will so uh, i will share one link with you wherein you can wherein you can understand my journey okay i had uploaded uh, from india to germany my three year journey so i will share this with you you can check out this video mm, it will play and make some noise but okay so this is this is the video link wherein i have explained all my uh, the entire journey from india to germany so you can check this out also if you guys are interested to book one on one mentoring call or one on one general questions call with me you can check out my website i have mentioned this website so you can check out this website as well so that you can book 
one on one call with me we, we also provide like german language classes we also provide help in loans health insurance blocked account etc so you can check out the website as well okay is pr hard to get in germany like the pr process many countries take too much time for pr uh germany in germany it is not a hard process okay it is very simple you require uh, like a full time job after which you pay like tax for 21 or 22 months uh, and you if you are like if you get a b1 certificate then you can simply apply for a pr and you get the pr so it is it is quite simple process and if you are not b1 proficient then you get pr in like 33 months it is not that hard i will suggest you guys to share this link with maximum people share my channel with maximum people so that they get benefit and i can answer more questions okay in the meanwhile i have also pinned my website you can take a look uh, at my website and uh, the services uh, we offer so that it, it will be helpful for you guys for german language or blocked account health insurance etc pin your insta in the comment we will follow you there too oh thanks bro i go by at the rate me you wadi kar this is my insta thanks for it i am confused between toefl and ilts for entering into europe uh, so john okay uh, so to answer this question i will again say that it really depends upon the university requirements okay first thing first step zero i will say come up with at least 10 courses of your interest and according to the course requirements you will understand that whether you have to apply for toefl or maybe you have to apply for ilts which exam you are you want to give so for this uh, you have to come up with the courses uh, with the 10 courses shortlisting so that you understand reading the course requirements whether ilts is required toefl is required gre gmat etc ananya is asking if we are doing phd then is it counted towards the job for pr oh this is really very interesting question and to be honest uh, i don't know but uh, i don't know exactly but i can say that this is not counted towards pr because as you are like as you are doing your phd you are considered as a student and you get student benefits like a travel monthly pass uh, like and some discounts upon uh, in shopping malls and stuff like that so it is not considered as pr is what i believe but you can message me uh, i will also guys you can join our uh, whatsapp group i will share you the link just a moment just a moment so that you guys can join our whatsapp group and uh where in there are many people who are interested in coming to germany so invite group link copy link and i will pin the link here so this is our whatsapp group link you can also check check the same in the description you can join our group and absolutely uh, you will get some good insights about studying and living in germany as the university pays a salary in a phd course yes 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 i know i know but uh, to be honest you are considered as a student uh, it is it is uh, some sort of sti stipend and like an internship so you get you are not paid as a salary but a stipend it is similar to what you get uh, in an internship or a working student so but still uh, you should not forget that you are a student so i, I don't think so a pr for pr phd is considered Thank you so much for your time. We'll connect again. Yes, uh, Ananya, you can join our uh, WhatsApp group. Uh, it is mentioned in here in the chat somewhere. Also, uh, in the 
uh, in the description, I believe. Okay, are there any further questions? Guys, please subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe. Bolna padta hai, yaar, subscribe. If you are still, if you still have any questions, you can check, you can check my website, book one-on-one -on -one call with me uh, so that I can guide you in more personalized way. I can answer all your questions. You can check my website out. We still have like four minutes. If you have any questions, you can throw at me. People often talk about masters in Europe, but are there any universities in Europe uh, that offers summer internships or related courses or at least university in which you are? Uh, okay, so like universities, they assist you in getting internships, but uh, it is not it is not like people, uh, like companies coming here in the universities. Like in India, we have like the placement system. It is not uh, like uh, in Germany. There are job fairs. University help you. Uh, they have some. They review your CV, your cover letter, and stuff like that. But you have to put in the hard work of uh, like your own hard work. And your question was uh, Europe. Okay, so yes, there are there are some companies who offer summer internships, but to be honest, they they are for uh, students already living here in Germany. Because if you if you consider uh, if you consider for for example, uh, will you hire somebody from other country or from your own country? So like students or companies will prefer to hire uh, own uh, own country students so that they have to not pay for uh, the visa and other costs. Did you book accommodation before coming to Germany? If yes, tell us how you booked because due to accommodation, a lot of fraud happens. Yes, yes, absolutely. So first of all, for accommodation, you have to enroll for like student dorms. You will not get it for like a year uh, you have to again parallelly search for uh, private accommodation you have to book it but not pay for it okay you have to book it via email or just uh, book an appointment wherein you are you are interested to see the ap apartment and stuff like that so yes uh, booking is not paying but booking is like booking an appointment you have to pay in person because yes there are many many frauds going on if you have further questions, you can check my website. I have pinned it. It's on top mate and you can book one on one call with me so that I can guide you better. We also offer like German language classes. Uh, we help you in getting loans and stuff like that. Health insurance, blocked account, everything. Okay, I've, I've been star started, I've started receiving queries and bookings as well. Thanks for this. So are there, we have like two minutes. Are there any further questions? Today, like around 15 to 20 students joined this session. So thanks for this. This is my, this is the highest number of students which I've joined my chat. You can follow me on Instagram at, at the rate Ameya Vadekar and also subscribe my YouTube channel. Give the give this video a like if you found this helpful. Please tell me which health insurance you have and which health insurance is mostly taken. So like 99% of times uh, TK health insurance is taken. It's technical Kankin Kasa. For health insurance, you can drop a query uh, on my website and I can guide you uh, better on that. Technical content class of TK where everything is covered. So there is no such thing like this is not covered, that is not covered. Everything is covered in that insurance. And it is around 112 euros. 
but i will suggest that you book that okay so guys thanks thanks for joining this live i hope uh, that you have got some good insights about germany permanent remote jobs i have seen people saying they are especially remotely so is it real or fake yes yes you can also apply for uh, remote jobs it is quite possible yes absolutely it is it is a good choice actually if you happen to get a job yes absolutely it's not fake but uh, like i i don't think so it is fake if you apply through linkedin and stuff like that the the, the jobs they are posted are not fake at all because uh, like companies pay linkedin platform to uh, promote their job how much does it cost you every month so uh, like as i have got a permanent job my costs have significantly increased so around like maybe 1000 euros but as when i was student i used to uh, share some food share some stuff with uh, another indian uh, roommates so yes uh, at that time it was like 600 700 euros 600 maximum in arkan by the way is recession affecting germany uh, to be honest yes of course uh, it is not affecting not only like germany but also uh, many many other countries or the entire world to be honest or do you think it will start affecting shortly like your prediction cause in india uk us people are suffering actually yes in, in europe to be honest in europe it is comparatively more stable okay more stable economy it will not affect to that extent which uh, in way, like for example in uk or us but surely there are some effects here as well okay so guys should i take your leave okay just make sure you follow me on instagram subscribe this channel like this video and stuff like that where are you from i am from india of course but from pune maharashtra by the way my my whatsapp name is also john so like john cena how much salary is uh, inflation has okay so for indian people i will say around uh, anything in hand salary of around 2500 is enough for a family good time to study now what would you say last question was it is say it is a good time to study now due to this also plus one to the previous question so uh, yeah it is it is a good time to study because inflation i think i personally think inflation or maybe uh these like problems like not having jobs or um, these are like very temporary problems so recession inflation these are very like temporary problems and this is a good time that to come to germany and maybe in two years of time picture might have changed so after covid if you see so during covid i was also struggling to get internships but uh, after covid like after lockdown was finished and after like one year so there were so many jobs available and there was a boom again so this is this is a cycle so no need to worry about it it's good that my internet is finally working i had several issues with the internet in what reason german universities open doors for students like in us they do in spring and fall is it the same in Ge yes so in germany also we have two intakes one is the winter intake second is the summer intake winter intake generally starts okay the university classes starts from october 1st 
to november or october and in the month of october and november it depends upon the university but this is a general thing and for uh, summer intake it will start from february and or march thanks man really enjoyed the session will share the link to more people from now uh, thanks suraj consider subscribing my channel also join our whatsapp group check the uh, link in uh, description so that uh, you will be informed about our further lives and it is good thing that like many people are not there in this live so that i can answer all the questions perfect so guys if you don't have any further questions i will say goodbye to you and uh check my website check my uh, whatsapp group they are missing out yeah ah uh, they will come actually like this is this is a growing channel so yes it will it will surely you are a true mentor oh thanks thanks for the compliment uh if you guys want to book one on one call with me uh, you can also do that on my website uh it really depends upon the company requirements so it is not uh, it is first of all you should consider how well you write your uh, letter of motivation while applying for jobs and second thing is that you should convince them why should they hire you from india and not take a person who is still who is an indian and still here in germany so your motivation letter plays a vital role in that okay i got some interesting questions that's really nice so uh, there is no such like a quick scheme you have to continuously apply uh, for jobs and be consistent with it with it okay so yes there are people sending me bookings and queries as well nice okay so that's it i hope you have enjoyed this session see you in the next session and maybe i can plan in on saturday as well as sunday uh so the most looked out thing by the university is the letter of motivation work life balance great absolutely great absolutely great uh your tasks are sorted and you no, no need of doing like extra hours nobody does it here like so uh, saturday sunday holiday pension schemes and absolutely nice sop lor marks yes exactly sop and lor marks projects as well mm -hmm. okay see you then bye for now thanks for joining and please share this channel with uh, more people so that many people will be get, getting the benefit also book one on one call with me if you are interested thanks for this see you soon bye bye